Hello, my name is Ginger Gina Wilson, astrologer. I am a pixie queen astrologer, and I love the stars that are deep within the earth, the stars that are within our being, and the stars and planets that are above. It has been such an amazing year. A lot of challenges, joy and pain, release of old, outmoded ways of being, and growth, lots of growth. And today, I'm talking about our first new moon in Capricorn 2022. 2022, so 222. Two, two. So here we have the two that is the priestess, the zero that is the fool, and another two, another priestess, and another two, another priestess. So we're definitely going to talk about the new moon. But I'm just going to say for the new year and that numerology of 2022, three priestess energy, the priestess and the tarot, the numerology, um, and the zero, the fool, which is new beginnings. So here we have first a priestess leading the way. So a lot of priestess energy on earth, divine feminine energy leading the way this year, being the ruler. And ruling this new era this year there is a major new vibration it's kind of like this last year there are things that were completed and finished and a new cycle is beginning in theme with the next two numbers the two and the two so two more priestess so here we have just a lot of women coming together in the world this year and men connecting to their inner divine energy too. So this will play in with the new moon. Um, so new moon in Capricorn is making a trine to Uranus and Taurus. So Uranus is about a lot of the earth changes that are happening and Taurus is the body of the earth, and it's also our body, our human body. And as the earth goes through these big purification changes from some of the things that humans have done that we haven't been doing correctly, um, practices that aren't sustainable that have been going on, you know, the past hundred years, but have really increased in the last 70, 80 years. She's purifying and asking us to change and be more sustainable in many ways. So we've seen a lot of earth changes. And we've also seen humanity starting to come up with new ways of figuring out how to heal the earth and more sustainable practices. So our human bodies are changing too because we're a part of the earth body. So this is a really good time, this new moon, and it's setting off the tone of vibration for the next new year, for new inventions to come, to help humanity, to help the earth. And Capricorn can do with patriarchy and business, but on a higher spiritual level, it's climbing the spiritual mountain and finding the middle path. And when you get to the top of the mountain, choosing to come back down and help other people and helping other people during this time of innovation and change and invention. So even though the new moon is for the next two weeks, I think this is also going to take a tone for the next year of how can we really implement in our earth reality these wonderful ways of giving back. It's so beautiful. The new moon is conjunct the sun in Capricorn. So here we have 
a sun and moon energy that is really powerful. It's the masculine and the divine feminine coming together. And things are going to be a little bit easier this year as far as those changes are going. It doesn't mean we still aren't going to have challenges. We are. Because there's a lot of steps we have to take because Uranus is still squaring Saturn. And what that means is Saturn is what are the steps you're going to take? And it's time. So this year is all about timing. And there's things we do as a group, Earth group, and there's things we do as individuals. So what do we do individually? What steps can we take? And a big thing that really is going to help with this process is love and relationships and how we relate to everything. Venus is in retrograde right now. And the Medusa asteroid, which is about healing the divine feminine and divine feminine wisdom, healing from oppression, just wonderful female empowerment, is going to be 28 degrees Scorpio. And it's wide orb, um, almost uh, almost connected to um, sex styling, Jupiter and Pisces. So that sex style is a is a positive aspect. And Jupiter and Pisces, that is, um, Pisces is also water and healing in a very big way. And um, so how can we heal in really big ways right now? It's, it's very important. And Medusa in Scorpio is also about healing. So we're looking at a really a, a year of deep healing. Um, it doesn't mean we won't have to face things that might be hard. Probably will. But there's definitely going to be healing and it will definitely help in the realm of relationships. So with that Venus retrograde, which will leave retrograde on the 29th. We can just look at what are we learning in our relationships to ourselves, others, things, places. And what changes would we like to make to make it better if there were no limits? And then look at the limits and go, okay, well, what steps can I take? to create the love, the healing, the world that we all envision together where humanity is thriving and surviving and the planet is too. And men and women and all forms of diversity. Because Uranus is also about the love of diversity. So um, this is a very nurturing and... Um, Sending so much positivity to that Uranus energy or Uranus energy. And there's a lot of work to be done. That square it means, okay, there's a lot of work to be done. Are you up for the challenge? But with the square, what is so great about it is more can be accomplished when there's a square because there's a pressure to do it. And the Saturn right now is an Aquarius. And the energy that's wanted right now is liberation and freedom from oppression on multiple, multiple levels. Different for each, um, for the earth, for animals, for different people. But this is a common theme right now. So it's a very, um, it's a motivator to motivate us. And sometimes we need that because we can get stuck or lazy or complacent. Being motivated can push us to do things we never thought we could do before. So 
I am really wishing you a wonderful, wonderful new year and this amazing new moon in Capricorn. And um, something from Alice, I think Alice Bailey, she does the esoteric astrology. She talks about Capricorn. Um, and so there's some sayings. So um, the esoteric meaning of Capricorn is spiritual initiation and the will to achieve on behalf of the soul's purpose. So this is a good time to think about your soul's purpose. And then also um, a mantra. Lost I am in light divine, yet on the light I turn my back so that I may go back down the mountain to help and serve others. So I find that just, just a beautiful quote. And then for um, the sun and the moon trining Uranus, Uranus is the giver of life through the recognition of the unity underlying di diversity. That's its esoteric um, theme. And um, its mantra is water of life. Am I poured forth so far that I can give my water to thirsty men and women? Um, so these are just like interesting esoteric astrology quotes, which Alice Bailey's written many books. And if you look on YouTube under um, Esoteric Astrology, there are lectures on it too that talk about this. Um, so that's wonderful. And I think it's important to talk about the moon because the moon is really initiating. The moon in Capricorn. The moon is the goddess vessel and she is holding the divine masculine in this um, new moon. So the new moon, Esoteric a uh, sign of cancer, building the foundations of life through the warmth of nurturing love. Okay, so this is what is containing everything. Um, the mantra, I build a lighted house and there I dwell. So this is a um, Filling yourself with light. This is uh, the idea. And so, lots of good stuff. You know, um, how we fill our homes and our bodies, where we live, and the world that's our home. The work we're willing to do to have healthy bodies and a healthy earth. And to free each other. So thank you so much for um, tuning in. So many blessings to you. Namaste.